This conference will now be recorded. So now here, what I have shared is TVM. TVM is nothing but time value for money. So anybody can explain me what is the meaning of time value for money? In simple terms only, don't want the technical terms, nothing. In simple terms, if you have to tell time value of money, what it is. So time value of money. So here I, the explanation I have given the idea that money received in the present is more valuable than the sum received in the future. So if I am telling the cost of petrol. So today the cost of petrol is 100 rupees example. So do you think in the next year also the cost will be same 100 rupees? No ma'am. No, ma so the value of money increases. So if you are lending your friend some money, if they are returning it today, well and good. They will tell I'll return after six months. So will it will work out? No. When I'm lending the money, so if it has been returned today only means yes, well and good. But if it is returned after a certain time period, then we need some add-ons on that like interest. So there should be some value to that money, isn't it? So whatever I buy today, the same cost is not going to reside. So if I am working for 10,000 rupees, so do you think that next year also I'll be okay to work for that same 10,000 rupees? No. So the value of money keeps getting changed. So that is time. As per the time, the value of money keeps getting changed. The value should be increased, isn't it? In simple terms, this is what it is I'm trying to tell. So there are three reasons for this time value of money. First thing is inflation. Second one is risk and liquidity. So as a result, when a borrower charge interest to ensure that the value of money is not eroded by the other way of looking the interest is at a rental charges for using someone else's money. It is not my money. I'm taking the money from my friend. So I am utilizing it money for a certain duration of time. So it is his money. So he could have used it. But still he is lending me money for the time period what I am utilizing that. For that I need to give some extra money. Isn't it? So then only some value to that money. So if I am giving my uh, money to any of my friend, they are returning it back after two years, three years, whenever they want. So there is no value for that money at all. Isn't it? So... Uh, the time value of money is one of the basic theories of financial management. It states that the value of money you have now is greater than same amount of money at a future date. So the time value of money is the idea that money available at the present time is worth more than the same amount in the future due date due to its potential earning capacity. If I am investing money in a share market or something, so do you think after three months, six months, I'm going to get the same amount? No, I'm going to get some added amount with that, isn't it? So then only I'll think that, yes, after, even after I'm into profit because today I'm investing 100 rupees. After three months, I'm earning 500 rupees. So 400 rupees is my profit. So happily, I can make investment. So today I have invested 100 and after six months, I'm getting 50 rupees means what's the use? Isn't it? So this is what the concept of time value money. So I have shared you the notes. You can go through it. So any doubts, you can get it clarified. So here we are going to learn the different types of financial functions. Okay. So here financial functions means when I wanted to calculate the future value. Like just now I told, I'm investing the money in an RD or fixed deposit something. So one rupees I'm investing for five years. After five years, there should be some benefits on that. 
nothing but in simple terms it is interest so how to evaluate the future value so the maturity value present value if i am getting 2 and 1/2 lakh after 2 years so what is the amount that i need to invest today that one and pmt pmt is nothing but payment so i can tell it has emi or anything wherein i am paying the emi so i am uh, buying a house on the loan so 40 50 lakh rupees loan i am buying i am taking so now every month how much i am supposed to pay so that is my emi how to calculate that then rate of interest so if i am taking one i am investing 1 lakh rupees after 5 5 years i am going to get 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees at what interest rate that is been calculated that one how to calculate then n per n per is nothing but the duration period number of period how to calculate that so those things and all we are going to learn here in time value of money so pv is nothing but present value fv is nothing but future value so annuity payment or receipt that is nothing but payment which is also can be known as emi irr so internal rate of returns what we call it as in order to know the rate of interest so n per number of period so this are the things formulas how it will be calculated so now let's start with the thing so if you are solving it uh, along with me please wait let me explain then i will give you the time in order to try it out okay so here i have along with the uh, results i have so let's see one by one i'll read out the question i will tell you what is the function i have written then some two three sums will do then you can try it out so first sum find the maturity value of an fd that is fixed deposit invested today of an amount rupees 1 lakh for 5 years at the rate of 10% so i am investing 1 lakh rupees today after 5 years what is the maturity amount i'll be getting if the rate of interest is 10% so for this so for this i am going to check with future value so i'll explain you so i have to start with fv fv is nothing but future value so as per the syntax the arguments are first i need to tell the rate of interest so what is the rate they are telling it is 10% okay n per the syntax is next argument is n per that is number of period so the number of period will be 5 years so i have written 5 years then they have not mentioned about any emi or payment over here so pmt will be zero then present value present value means today what is the amount that i am investing so today i am investing 1 lakh rupees so if uh, for example your mama has given you 500 rupees you have set, spent 250 in it so how much will be remaining 250 and that amount what you have spent that will be added or subtracted 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 so, yes very good so here the amount is going out of my pocket means i have to i have to invest some amount so this amount is going out of me from me so that's why i have taken it in minus okay present value minus 1 lakh rupees why because the money is going out of the pocket and type is zero that is end of the period if i calculate it for the entire 5 years only i'll be able to know what will be the my maturity value is so let me write here so i'll tell equals fv open the bracket rate is 10% 10% comma n per n per is 5 years comma so here nowhere they have told about any emi amount okay so pmt is nothing but emi so nothing is said means zero but you have to complete the arguments you cannot speak uh, skip anything present value so today i am making the investment of 1 lakh that is money is going out so i'll take it in minus comma end of the period beginning of the period so i need to evaluate it for end of the period that is the entire 5 years so end of the period i'll put zero close the parenthesis enter so if i am investing 1 lakh rupees today after 5 years i am going to get 1 lakh 61051 rupees that means 
61,051 rupees is the interest amount what I'll be getting. Okay. So next we'll try this three sums and then you can you people can try it out. Find the investment needed in an FD that is fixed deposit which will mature at 250,000 after 10 years. Rate offered is 12%. So they are telling if I am making some amount invested today after 10 years I'll be getting 2 and a half lakh at the rate of 12% means what is the amount that I need to invest today. So for that I'll be using few, uh, present value that is PV. So here if you look at the arguments first one is rate. So rate is 12% number of period number of period is 10 years i have to mention pmt so here nowhere they have told about any pmt or emi amount so i am going to put zero future value so future value i am going to get the money so on that 500 rupees whatever mama has given you the pocket money on that 250 means you are getting 250 means it will be added so 2 lakh 50 thousand rupees it will be considered as adding so two and a half lakh and end of the period. So here I'll tell equals PV open the bracket rate is so rate is 12 percent comma N per is for 10 years comma PMT nothing no EMI amount nothing they have said future value I am going to get 2 lakh 50 thousand. So I have to calculate this for the entire 10 years. So end of the period, close the bracket, enter. So today if I make the investment of 80,493, I am going to get 2,50,000. It is showing in red color because I wanted to identify it as a negative. So negative value, I am representing it in brackets in red color. Okay, that means money is going out. 80,000 rupees I am investing so that after 10 years I am going to get 2,50,000 invested rupees 1,000 for 5 years at the rate of 10% find the future value so I will tell equals future value means FV open the bracket rate how much is the rate rate of interest 10% very good 10% comma N per Number of period is? 5 years. 5 years. Very good. Have they mentioned any EMI or PMT amount? No ma. So I need to put it as 0. Present value. Today I am making the investment of? 1000. 1000. So money is going out. So I have to take it in minus. Minus 1000. And I have to calculate it for end of the period. Close the bracket, enter. So if I am investing 1000 rupees today, after 5 years I will be getting 610 rupees extra on it. That means 1610 I will be receiving. Okay. So I will show the formulas. You people can try it out. So you need to get this answers only. See down only I have put the formulas. So you can try.
any doubts you want me to explain it please girls you can ask Please excuse me, just I'll attend my call. Girls, any doubt? Are you people yeah. able to solve it? Ma. Yes, ma. Ma, what is PMT? PMT is nothing but payment. Payment means if I am paying any EMI or something like that, like installment basis, anything I am paying, so then it is called as payment. Uh, so we will learn how to put that formula later on. Yeah, yeah. Here in this questions, nowhere they have told that we are making any additional payments or anything. So that's why we are going to keep this PMT as a zero. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. If you people are done, you just let me know. We'll uh, go ahead. Done, ma'am. Okay.
after 5 years the investment was rupees 1000 what will be the present value rate of interest will be 10% so here they are asking what is the present value so how much amount i am going to invest today so that after 5 years i am going to get 1000 so i have to calculate pv so rate will be rate will be 10% n per 10 uh, n per that is period will be 5 years 10% period will be 5 years pmt so they have not told any emi amount or anything zero so future value so future value I'm going to get 1000 rupees so i have to calculate it for entire period that is end of the period so enter so today i have to make the investment of rupees 620 so so that after 5 years i am going to get 1000 okay so have you people any time heard about this uh, thing like uh, compounded interest yes ma'am okay can you tell me what it is ma'am compound interest is something that uh, like for first year we have invested thousand rupees and mm. the rate of interest is 10 percent okay uh, for Anna. so next year mm. we will get the interest on 110 rupees uh, mm. 1010 rupees rather than thousand uh, mm. and it will increase as per the interest is getting uh, value is added and in the interest mm -hmm. uh, I mean uh, I think I'm not using the right terminology, but yes, it's I mean. correct only. Yeah, correct only it is. So here. I'll just first increase the size. So here compounded annually. So compounded annually means here they are telling find the maturity value of an FD investment done today is 50,000 rupees for 5 years. The rate of interest will be 9%. So here they are telling find the value of an FD. Maturity value means here I need to calculate FV. FV. So rate is 9%, comma, N per. N per is 6 years, comma. PMT. So they have not mentioned any PMT over here. So it will be zero, comma present value. So today I am making the investment of fifty thousand. That is money is going out of my business. So fifty thousand minus fifty thousand, comma end of the period. So here it will be eighty three thousand eight fifty five. It is compounded annually. Means whatever the interest rate will be given, it will be per annum. So that is that will be for 12 months. Okay. So now if I'm talking about compounded semi-annually, compounded semi-annually means a uh, year will be split into two, six months and six months. Okay. So now if I'm investing 50,000 rupees, so the rate of interest will be also splitted like 9% will become 4.5% plus 4.5%. So whatever this 4.5% interest amount will be there, no? That interest amount will be added to the principal amount and that will be considered as the entire principal amount. Like imagine I got some 5,000 extra. So 50,000 I have made the investment. On that first six months, I have got 5,000 as an interest. That 5,000 also will be added to the principal amount and this entire 50, 55,000 will be considered as the principal. So on that 55,000, they will be adding one more 4.5%. That is the second half of my year, the other six months. So on that entire 55,000, the 4.5% interest will be added. So that is called as compounded semi-annually. So now here, how I am going to apply means equals FV. That is future value rate. Rate is 9%. So here rate will be divided, divided by how much? So semi-annually means 2, comma, n per, n per will be multiplied, okay. So here they are telling 6, so 6 will be multiplied by 2, 
rate will be divided by 2 6 will be multiplied by 2 so 6 twos are 12 12 months so pmt is 0 comma present value is minus 50000 comma end of the period so you can see so both are the same thing only we are done so it is 9% only for the 6 years and the investment is 50000 only but still the amount is varying why because here they are calculating for the entire 12 months means that 50,000 for that they will be adding 9% of interest. This 9% will not be added as a principal amount but in se compounded semi-annually the first 6 months interest rate will be added to the principal and that will be considered as the entire principal amount. So 50,000 plus the interest 5,000 will become 55,000. Now on that 55,000 I am going to apply again the other 6 months 4.5% interest. Okay, so if we are doing it as semi-annually, the interest will be gain more when compared it to compounded annually. Understood the concept? Yes, ma'am. Yes, so ma now compounded quarterly. So the year will be quarterly means how much? Four months make one quarter, isn't it? So here I'll tell equals FV, open the bracket, rate is 9%, equals FV, open the bracket, 9% divided by, so how many will be there? 4, comma, N per will be 6, 6 multiplied by 4, comma, PMT is 0, comma, present value, minus 50,000, comma, calculating it for the end of the period, close the bracket, enter so compounded quarterly compounded monthly means how i should do then if semi annually means we are splitting a year into two quarterly means the year will be split into four then compounded monthly means so nine percent will be divided by very good so nine percent will be divided by 12 and six will be multiplied by 12 so compounded daily Ma'am, 365. Very good. 365 days. 365 days. So they, so they will not consider that leap here, 366, no? So one fixed value, 365 days. So 9% will be divided by 365 and 6 years will be multiplied by 365. So I have showed you 3. I wanted you people to try with monthly and daily. They have showed it for three. I wanted you people to try with the other two. So not an issue. I will explain you. But first I wanted you people to try with the first three and the rest two also. Understand the logic, how it is applied. If you did not understand, please ask. I'll explain you once again. Mom, can you please explain it again? So compounded annually means, so it is for the entire one year, isn't it? Entire one year means today I'm making the investment of 50,000 rupees. So per year, it is 9%. Okay, so annually means for the entire 12 months, I am going to get 9% which will be given as an interest. Compounded semi-annually means, so here I am going to enter this amount. So, here I am going to invest the amount of 50,000. Okay. So, on that I am getting, so the compounded semi-annually means the year will be split into two. First six months and second six months. Okay. And the interest rate, that also will be split into two. 9% will be split into 4.5% for the first 6 months and if second 6 months 4.5 okay so now for this first 6 months I am going to get the interest amount 
so here it is for the first six months i am telling about the first six months first six months imagine that i am getting the interest of 5000 okay so both together it becomes 55000 so for the next six months for the second six months second half so for this whatever the interest 4.5 percent will be added it will be not added it will be not applied for 50,000 so this amount so after your principal amount plus interest both together 55,000 what it has become now this amount will be considered as the principal amount okay this 4.5 in 5 percent interest for the second half six months that will be implemented on this so that's why from first year to second uh, if it is compounded annually you are going to get this value if it is compounded semi-annually the value will be more clear so the interest amount will be added to the principal and that principal amount and the interest amount will be considered as the whole principal so for that 55000 they will implement the 4.5 so that interest amount whatever it is getting it will be again added to the principal so the principal amount is growing now so whatever the 4.5 4.5 will be given it will be getting added to the principal amount where your where your principal amount will be more when compared to the compounded annually so the same way quarterly means the again the nine percent will be split into four got it yes ma'am okay so others are you people able to try are you able to do this semi-annually yes, means nine percent will be divided by two six years will be multiplied by two compounded quarterly means so here, here will be split into four okay so nine percent will be divided by four six will be multiplied by four monthly nine percent will be divided by 12 and six will be multiplied by 12 so compounded daily 365 days Let me know once it is done. Yes, ma'am. Done. done. So, for the compounded monthly and daily, also, you people tried? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> okay, very good. So, you got the ma answer? A doubt. Okay. Tell me, ma. Ma'am, when when I am uh, like uh, when I am applying the formula for uh, in the end of the year and in the beginning of the year, if I am putting mm. one also, I am getting mm. the same answer. So, what mm. is the use of it? So, in some cases, we have to evaluate in the beginning of the month only. Like, if I wanted to know the rate of interest, so in the beginning only we have to know, isn't it? So that doesn't make any much differences. But some, in 
very rare cases the one will not get you the proper answer in very rare cases yeah. so when okay. i wanted to bring that entire uh, course of time the tenure you wanted to bring into picture so that's why we always prefer using zero so that there will be no miscalculations happening okay ma'am so compounded value fv so compounded monthly it is 9% divided by 12 comma 6 multiplied by 12 so pmt is 0 comma present value is minus 50000 comma end of the period enter so this should be your answer compounded monthly sorry compounded daily fv open the bracket rate 9% divided by 365 comma n per 6 multiplied by 365 comma pmt will be 0 present value minus 50000 comma type will be end of the period so the last one the answer should be this you people got the same answer yes ma'am okay very good then we'll move to the next one investment of rupees 50000 done today for 10 years at the rate of 14% annual rate compounded daily so here investment of rupees 50000 that means i need to calculate the future value fv so rate will be i wanted you people to guide me what is the rate i need to put here 14% 14% 14% now here do i need to do some other uh, technique or i have to put comma and go for the end period ma'am divide by 365 very good so they are telling compounded daily so divided by 365 and then n per 10 into 365 very good keep it up so 10 into 365 pmt have they mentioned any pmt or emi amount over here no ma'am zero so next is present value so today i am making the investment of 50000 Minus fifty thousand end of the period, so the amount will be two lakh two thousand seven hundred and five rupees. I am going to get. Okay. Next one. Now I wanted to find the rate of interest. Investment of rupees hundred becomes worth two hundred in twenty years. What is the rate of interest? So they have given the period, the initial investment, the matured amount, everything they have given. On what rate of interest it has to be calculated? So here I'll tell so equals rate I'm typing in rate I wanted to check the rate of interest I'll type rate now as per the argument what is n per the period 20 years 20 years very good have they mentioned any pmt that is emi no, no. amount zero then present value today what is the amount i am investing 100 minus 100 very good so future value so if i am investing 100 how much i am going to get back 200 200 very good so type will be end of the period so that's it so it is 4% rate of interest so then next one Investment of rupees hundred becomes worth five hundred. Rate offered by the bank is twelve percent. How many years will it take? So now here they are telling the investment amount, the maturity value, rate also. But here I need to find the number of years. That is period I need to check. So here I'll type equals n per. N per is nothing but period, number of period. So rate, how much they have offered here? Twelve percent. Very good, twelve percent, comma. So PMT, have they mentioned any PMT amount? EMI. So zero, comma present value. 
so i am going as per the arguments okay so present values minus 100 very good next future value 500 very good so then i need to check it for end of the period so the duration will be 14.2 okay so i wanted you people to try with this 3 ma'am yes ma'am ma'am can you please repeat how to find out uh, the rate of interest rate of interest one second so here first i need to understand what i wanted to find they are asking what is the rate of interest so i'll put equal and type in rate so rate i got it so here excel will tell what does this particular function performs with open the bracket now you can see the arguments what it is there so first argument is they are asking for number of period how much is the duration it is 20 years 20 comma pmt so here they have not mentioned any emi or any other amount rather than the investment on the maturity value so pmt nothing they have mentioned so i'll keep it zero comma next argument is pv that is present value what is the investment that you are doing today so that is 100 investment of rupees 100 they are telling so if i am making the investment means money is going out of the business so minus 100 comma next argument is future value fv so future value they are telling that investment of rupees 100 becomes worth 200 so future value is 200 comma so i need to check it for end of the period as i told so i don't want any sort of confusions anything so i'll directly take end of the period enter it is 4% clear ma yes ma'am got it yeah so try with this 3 Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma. Ma'am, uh, why is it given minus hundred in the minus hundred means in the in which one, ma? If we rate in or the input rate, rate ma'am. In the in the rate. So if you see, yes, they are telling that today I am making the investment of hundred rupees. So when I look at the argument, so when I look at the argument, n per is twenty years. Okay. PMT they have not mentioned any EMI or anything, so I am telling zero. PMT is zero. Then present value. Present value means today I am making the investment. So that means if you have hundred rupees and you are spending thirty rupees, means the money isn't it going out? So the yes, money will be subtracted, right? That thirty rupees should be subtracted, isn't it? Likewise, investment yes, of rupees hundred means. So whatever the amount I have, I need to take out that amount and put it in the investment. That means the money is going out from my pocket. So that's why we take it as minus. Okay. So when you Thank have hundred rupees and you are getting fifty rupees on top of it, means the amount will be added. That's why. So the maturity amount, what I am getting, it will be added. Okay. Clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome.
let me know once done yes ma'am done done ma'am okay so have you got the same answers right yes ma'am okay yes so investment of rupees 100 will double in 3 years that means will double means 100 will become 200 in 3 years what is the rate offered by bank so now tell me what i need to do which function i need to use i need to find the rate, rate. Of... very good rate now tell me what next they are telling n per period will be 3 years 3 years very good payment have they mentioned any payment amount here any emi amount no ma'am no so, ma'am next is 0 comma present value 100 minus 100 why right? because i'm making the investment so they are telling it will double in three years that means future value will be 200 comma end of the period so the rate will be 26 percent okay next one we are coming to pmt so pmt is nothing but payment okay so it can be for uh, any investments or anything it can be called as emi it can also be called as eai or it can also be called as eqi emi means equal monthly installments so every month if i am paying it is called as emi if i am paying annually equal annual installments so here on year i am paying means that is called as eai equal annual installments so if i am paying it quarterly so it will be called as eqi equal quarterly installments so this PMT, I can pay it, pay it for RD or for EMI also. Okay. So now here, find the maturity value of monthly RD account depositing rupees 5,000 every month for the period of three years. So have you people heard about this recurring deposit? Do you know what is recurring deposit is? Oh, no. What it is? Mom, I don't know. Okay. So, anyone else who knows what is recurring deposit means? Okay. Recurring deposit Mom, means? Yes, ma. Mom, monthly deposits. Monthly deposit. Very good. So, yeah. It is also correct answer. So, recurring deposit. So, till now we saw that I am making the investment of 50,000. I am making the investment of 1 lakh rupees. So, I don't have such a huge amount to make an investment. Okay. I don't have 1 lakh or 50,000 rupees to make an investment. But after 3 years, after 5 years, I wanted some lump sum amount with me. So, what I will do is, so I cannot pay the entire amount initially, like at one shot, I cannot make the payment. So, what I will do is, every month I am going to pay a a little bit of amount like here they are telling that every month i am paying 5000 5000 5000 like that for three years so whatever the amount that is accumulated so that on that total amount the rate of interest seven percent will be applied and they will give me that amount so this is called as recurring deposit whenever you are unable to pay a lump sum amount in an investment then you will be paying that amount in split values like every month you are going to pay a certain amount for a certain number of period so whatever the amount you have paid that will be put together it will become a lump sum on that amount they are going to put the certain amount of interest and give you back okay so this is your rd so here they are telling find the maturity value of monthly rd account depositing 5000 per month means every month i am paying uh, 5000 rupees for the period of 3 years 
and the rate offered by bank is 7% compounded monthly means every month so whatever 5000 you are paying on that every month i am going to get 7% interest because i am paying it i have to wait for another 3 years isn't it for 3 years if they are paying 7% means it is merely waste so they, what they are telling is every month you are paying 5000 on that 5000 7% amount will be put compounded monthly okay the investment is done at the end of the month so let me see first understand how it is so here also i am talking about future value they are asking find the maturity value after three years what is the amount that i am going to get so future value i have to calculate excuse me rate offered by bank is seven percent so they are telling seven percent and they are telling it is compounded monthly that means the 7% will be paid as an interest every month. So 7% divided by 12. And the duration, N per S period is 3 years. So 3 multiplied by 12 minus. So PMT, I am paying every month. So every month means every month the amount is 5000 is going out of my pocket. So that's why I will take it as minus. Minus 5000. Present value, I am not making a lump sum investment. So, present value will be zero and future and I wanted to calculate it on entire period. So, now here let's see equals FV. Equals FV. Future value, rate is 7%. 7%, they are telling compounded monthly, means 12 months. So, divided by 12 comma n per the next argument if you see it is n per that is period so period they are telling i am going to pay this 5000 for three years so three and here they are telling compounded monthly so it should be so here period will be multiplied by 12 comma pmt so here pmt means they are telling every month i am depositing okay so that is every month every month installment so it is how much I am paying? 5,000. Money is going out of my pocket. So, minus 5,000, comma, PV. So, I am not investing any lump sum amount in as an investment. So, that will be 0. Present value is 0. Every month I am paying, so PMT will be minus 5,000. So, PV is 0 and I wanted to calculate for end of the period. Close the bracket, enter. So, every month if I am paying 5,000, 5,000, for three years so at the end of the uh, third year i'm going to get 1,99,650 so if i tell if i tell equals 5000 so for three years so how many months it is so how many months i'm going to pay three years how many months will be there 36 months. 36 months. So, 5000 into 36 will be 1,80,000 rupees I am going to pay. On that, they are telling 1,99,650 I am going to get. So, 1,80,000 means 19,650 I am going to get the interest amount on this. So, every month I am paying 5000 means in 36 months, it will be 1,80,000. So, on that 1,80,000, the rest of the amount will be my interest amount what I am going to get. That is 1,80,000 is the actual amount what I am paying. So, 19,650 will be my interest what I am going to get. Clear? Next, we are coming for home loan. A home loan of rupees 40,000 is given to an individual. Loan is offered at the rate of 9.55% compounded monthly. So, I am taking the loan of 40 lakh rupees. Okay. And every month for that, I have to pay 9.55% of rate of interest per month. Loan for 20 years. So, this I am going to pay it for 20 years. Here, I need to find the EMI. So, what is the EMI amount that I need to pay? So, here I will be taking PMT function. So, PMT rate is 9.55. They are telling compounded monthly. So, 9.55% divided by 12, comma. So, period is 20 years. So, 20 multiplied by 12, 
so present value present value today i am receiving the loan okay how much amount 40 lakh rupees so future value nothing so as i am going to repay that amount it is at the end of the 20 years it is going to finish future value will be zero and i wanted to calculate for end of the period so here i'll tell equals so it is pmt so pmt is nothing but calculating the emi rate is 9.55 percent divided by compounded monthly means 12 9.55 percent divided by 12 n per will be 20 years which will be multiplied by 12 comma present value so today i am receiving the loan money is coming to me so it should be in addition okay it should be in plus not in minus so i'll take the value 40 lakh so future value so after 20 years the amount is going to be finished i'm going to clear the loan zero future value will be zero i need to calculate it for end of the period so emi will be 37,415 rupees 95 paise every month i am supposed to pay clear so i wanted you people to try with this the third one so rate that is ninth one you, i wanted you to try and here I'll show the formula what I have written. So you can try with this out. And I wanted you people to try this. If you deposit rupees 45,000 into an account earning 4% interest compounded quarterly, how much would I have in uh, 5 years? That is future value you need to calculate. So here I, the answer is shown. I wanted you people to try with the rate. So that is the uh, ninth one, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Any doubts? Please ask. Are you people able to do it? Ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma ma'am, I'm not getting the 10th one. Ma'am, So this is the formula what I have written. So find the maturity value of monthly RD account depositing 5,000 every month for the period of three years. Rate offered by bank is 7%, which is compounded monthly. So the investment is done at the end of the month. So here I need to calculate the future value. Okay. So future value rate is they're telling 7%. So which is compounded monthly means divided by 12 N per period. So that is for three years I'm going to pay. So three multiplied by 12. So PMT. So I'm, I'm not making a lump sum investment wherein I'm going to pay every month little by little. So how much I am paying every month? 5,000 rupees I am paying. So that is uh, the PMT. That is EMI amount what I am going to pay. So that is 5,000. So I'll be taking it as minus, minus 5,000. So present value. So I'm not making any initial lump sum investment. So I will take present value as zero. 
and type will be end of the period that will be zero so if i put this i'm going to get this output so this is the function the formula what i have written got it mom so try with the 12th one also Girls getting it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Then, ma'am. Okay, uh, you people got the same answers. Till twelfth one, I wanted you people to solve it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So next, thirteenth one. Mr. A has taken a loan of rupees twenty-five lakh for fifteen years. Rate offered by bank is 11.4, compounded monthly. What's the EMI? So he has taken the loan and he has to repay. So what is the EMI that he has to pay every month? So let's see. So here we are talking about EMI means I need to use PMT. Open the bracket. Rate offered by bank is 11.4 percent, and they are telling it is compounded monthly. So divided by 12. comma n per period is for 15 years multiplied by 12 comma present value so today i am receiving 25 lakh rupees loan so i am receiving means it should be taken as plus comma future value is zero i wanted to check it for end of the period so pmt will be every month he is supposed to pay 29046 rupees as emi okay then we have this receipt so you will re receive rupees 10000 each for 5 years the interest rate is 9% how much is the worth of your receipt today so here we are talking about the business okay so whenever i am making any uh, purchase from my 
this uh, my supplier so most of the time we will be doing it on credit transaction very rare case if it is an ultimate customer means so there they won't give it on credit but if i am buying and selling so frequently i'm going to buy the items and sell the items in that cases i'm going to get it on credit so credit means what so i whenever it is required i'm going to take the items but once in a while i'm going to pay the amount like i'll tell that whenever it is required i'm going to take the laptops but i'll be making the payment once in 10 days that is on 10th 20th 30th like that once in 10 days i'm going to make the payment so in that condition most of the business people what they will do is so they will provide they will give the duration also like if i tell i'm going to pay it in 10 days they'll tell okay if you are paying it in 10 days means you do not have to add any interest whatever the amount you are buying the items you pay with that amount only if i am like within 10 days if i am paying fine if i am paying it after 15 days or if i am paying after 18 days that means i am extending the credit limit so that time what they will do is they will, they are going to apply certain rate of interest on the amount the items what i have bought okay so that is called as receipt value so here i have to check out what is the receipt value today where my customer is going to is telling that i am going to pay 10000 rupees each year okay here i am not talking about months is telling once in a year i am going to pay 10000 rupees for 5 years then what is the actual receipt amount on which he is going to add the interest and pay it for 5 years that i need to check so for this what i am going to do i have to check the present value the question is little bit twisted try to understand the question so what is the receipt value today which the customer is going to pay it for another 5 years means early ones annually once he is going to pay 10000 rupees for 5 years and rate what i have told rate will be 9% so here i am talking about present value so equals pv so rate is 9% comma n per n per is for five years so for five years he is going to pay me five years pmt so he is going to pay me ten thousand rupees that means i am receiving the amount so i will not take it in minus ten thousand comma future value is zero comma end of the period so the receipt value is thirty eight thousand eight ninety six so the bill amount was thirty eight thousand eight ninety six for which he is telling that he is going to pay me 10 10000 for each year for 5 years he is going to pay so that means on this 38896 almost 11000 something is going to pay the interest clear Yes, ma. Ma'am, the Excel sheet that you have sent us, in that uh, we have only thirteen questions. I can't find. Okay, this question. one is not there. Okay, you just try yeah. to calculate uh, in the same way. You just try to put the calculation. Okay, ma'am.
Um, good evening, ma'am. Yes, ma. Ma'am, I actually wanted to ask. I have missed a few classes before this, so I have been attending. Uh, like I have been seeing the recordings. So yeah. is there some scene of attendance also? How many classes you have missed? Actually, I've missed four class, but I've covered up. Like I've seen the recordings. So, mm. uh, like. But still, here the record, uh, the attendance will be taken by the uh, software itself. Like you are logging in using this Go to Meeting, right? So that yes. will be taking the attendance, like the number of attendees who are present and the duration, how long you are retaining in the recording. So like the class, the entire class, based on it, the attendance will be taken. So we will take the attendance from the Go to Meeting, and then we are going to mark. So even okay. after you are. Uh, you are seeing the recording and practicing not at all an issue mm -hmm. so only four class you have missed out no so here afterwards try to be regular so that in the software we will not miss out okay ma'am thank you so to the college the attendance will be updated from whatever the software uh, attendance is marked based on that one mm -hmm. only we will be giving it to them okay, okay? yes thank okay. you so it is already going to be 7.30, so we will stop it here. Any doubts in today's class? No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma Try with this out. So tomorrow we will see how to no, work on debt. Okay. So how to calculate the debt amortization, we'll see. Okay. For today, I'll wind up the session. So thank you girls, you people can leave. Thank you ma'am.